Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have arrived at the famous Bass Pro Shop betting machine. And we got the IGFA, International Game Fish Association, that is completely closed down. It's been closed down for years. You know, it used to be a great spot to go fight fish on the computer. It was actually a lot of fun. I used to enjoy doing that when I was younger, but it's been closed for a while. We're gonna roll up to the vending machine here. Hopefully it's fully stocked. Looks like somebody's there right now. They might be buying something. Hopefully they get something cool. Let's move. All right, the famous vending machine here, ladies and gentlemen. You guys all know it. I know you guys are coming to see what we got, and let's get to it. Freshwater fish, mystery fish, do not press, baby. What a freaking lineup. Now, you all know I have freshwater fish in my aquarium, so that's what I'm gonna get. I'm not gonna go mystery fish. I'm not gonna go do not press, because I have a freshwater fish tank, and I don't wanna risk getting, you know, maybe a saltwater fish. I wanna make sure I spend my money and I get something for my tank. So let's put this money in here and let's get it. All right, we got some leftover bills here. Damn, bro, he had dollars. You already know. All right, let's dollars. put the money in, let's go. All right. So uh, what are you feeling today? I'm feeling that this money's not going in the machine, but I'm feeling I'm getting a freshwater fish. I'm I agree. feeling it's getting to be something good. I think it's the smartest decision for you in your life, right, currently. I think, I think you know, I, I don't want to waste money. You know, I don't like to waste money. Exactly. All right, let's put all this money in to the machine. You know what I'm saying, Chris? Yeah, yeah, I agree. What are we at, two, that's three, and four. Let's go. Good job, dude. Let's freaking go. I'll tell you what, you're really killing the game when it comes to putting in the dollars today. Thanks, boss. Freshwater fish, let's get it, baby. Let's go. Mmm, freshwater wow. fish, ladies okay. and gentlemen. Freshwater okay, wow, fish. they're actually stocked up. They are stocked They up. are stocked up today. Pods for days. <laughs> we got our freshwater fish. Let's get the heck out of here. Fish are secured. This top bucket right here is mine. We have a helicopter. It looks like we're paparazzi right now. They're like, holy shit, fish guys are here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I know, I understand, fish guys are here. Y'all, and we are back from the fish vending machine. It just sure is a pleasure going down there, getting some freaking fish for cheap, and uh, we got our pod right here. Here is our pod, freshwater fish, ladies and gentlemen. I'm in my room because, fingers crossed, we're gonna be putting it in our 55 gallon tank. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I think we have a severe problem. I think we have a severe problem in our tank, the Oscar, just like all the other ones, started acting super weird. He was like wedging himself in the freaking corner and then he would go up top here and sit there. So I netted him out immediately, went downstairs, acclimated, to, acclimated him to one of the tanks downstairs, one of the freshwater tanks, put him in there, and sure enough, he died. I don't know what is going on inside this tank. Tiny the Bass is absolutely thriving. The Tamensis Peacock, absolutely freaking thriving. And I'm worried to go spend a lot of money on some fish, but uh, I'm going to do a huge water change and see what happens. And if we start seeing some signs of unhealthy fish again, we're going to have to destroy the whole tank. We're going to have to redo it all and just restart from square one because I don't want to lose money on fish. And I like my fish and to get them big, it's like a goal of mine to do. So sadly, the Oscar, he's dead. I mean, I don't know what else to say. It sucks. I, I tested the water. Water's Perfect fed she now fit it al dente. But we have him, we got we bought him from an aquarium store and then we caught him. So I don't think it's the wild fish in the in the tank fish. Like that seems to not be a problem because both of them are thriving. The Oscar wasn't getting chased around. If anything, the Oscar was chasing them. And uh yeah, sadly, you know what? Fish die and we're gonna have to figure this out. So probably stay tuned for another video of freaking figuring out what the heck's going on in my tank now here we have it the freshwater pod guys ladies and gentlemen you guys know these things by now these things are legendary they're absolutely legendary and let's pray to god that it can go in here otherwise i'll show you where it possibly can go it can either go in here with all these guppies african cichlids and the jewel cichlids that i caught if you haven't seen my last video the micro fishing we caught these jewel cichlids here in one of our local lakes we got five of them in here now three from the fish palette and two that i caught when i went micro fishing you guys absolutely loved that video i mean it was crazy it was one of my best videos that i've actually filmed if you haven't checked it out go check it out and uh, if you guys want me to do saltwater micro fishing go catch a bunch of little aquarium fish go catch a bunch of little fish or of any sort let me know down below, ladies and gentlemen, because I would freaking be stoked to go film that. Now, if it can't go in this tank right here, if it can't go in there, we could put it with Joe the tilapia, who we saved from the foreign market. Look how good he looks. He healed up so well. He's got no more parasites on him, and he's looking really good. We got three tanks that we could put him in, and sure enough, I can guarantee you guys, it ain't going in the pond in that little tiny pod, but I can guarantee you that what we have in there we're gonna be able to keep. Okay, you guys know what time it is. It's time to open up this freshwater pod here. Mwah. 
You freaking beautiful thing. Let's open this puppy up. Let's see what we got. Take your bets down below. What do you think that we got? And uh, yeah, you guys obviously love the vending machine videos on, on the main channel. There's so many with over a million views, over 500K views. You guys absolutely love them. Man, I'm out of breath. I went down those stairs and it's early in the morning. You know what, guys? It's that time. Let's open up this pod. By the grace of the fish guy here, let's hope we have something good. Come on. God, those lids are tight. Oh my god! We have a red tail catfish! Look at how small he is! Dude, what? That is absolutely freaking insane! A baby red tail, though it's perfect to go into here, but I want to show you guys the big one that we have in the pond outside. That's a red tail catfish, ladies and gentlemen. This is one of the world's biggest fish. You guys know how big this thing gets? I'll go show you right now. Out here at the 4,000 gallon pond, we have an absolute giant red tail catfish. Now that right there, that one is a platinum red tail catfish. And then we have just a regular. Now the regular one is named Jeremy and uh, we got him smaller than the one we just got in the pod. He's grown to be so big, he's about two feet long now. And there he is, look at the size of him. He's definitely the biggest fish in here. Willie the platinum one-eyed freaking red tail is catching up to him, but look at the size of that fish, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you guys truly know how big these fish really are, but that fish is two feet long. Most of the fish in there are over five pounds. They're all really big on camera. They don't look as big as what they are in person. I mean, even these koi here, these koi are big people. They are big. That's marble. My mom named him. And then we got the peacock bass. We got Arnold. These fish are big and they're only getting bigger people. They got such a big home, 4,000 gallons, 20 feet by 20 feet, two and a half feet deep. Those are some lucky fish in there. I'll tell you what. So I just wanted to show you guys that red tail catfish. There he is again right there. He thinks he's gonna be fed, but that fish is two feet long and probably 10 pounds all day. It's time to go upstairs again, get that fish in the tank, and let's pray to God. I'm gonna keep a really close eye on him, make sure that he's doing okay. Yeah, because it's just weird. The Oscar that I had was eating, was swimming, was breathing, was thriving. I mean, it was doing so well, and then boom, just like after a week, just shut off. I don't, I don't get it, but let's go upstairs. Let's keep this energy high, baby. If you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe. Let's go upstairs and put this fish in the tank. There he is, Mr. Redtail. And if you guys can't tell the size of this pod, it's very small. Like you can't even fit your fist inside of it. So he's really only about an inch and a half to two inches. He's gonna get so big, he's gonna outgrow this tank so quickly, but we got so many spots that he can go to. I'm gonna acclimate him, then he's going in the tank. He's ready to roll, ladies and gentlemen. Poured a little bit of water out, added some tank water. Let's pour this guy into the net here. This is hard to do with one hand. Get in there, buddy. Yeah, you look good. You look really good. You're gonna get so big. All right, here we go. Let's put him in this tank. Calm down, bud. Get out of the net. There you go. Oh, baby red tail catfish. Oh my God, I freaking love those things. They get so big, they're so personable. They look so cool. And if you guys don't know, I'm gonna pop up a picture of a red tail catfish, like pretty much full grown out of the Amazon or wherever they are native to. They get so big. This fish is gonna get big. And I'm freaking stoked. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The vending machine, once again, strikes again, the legendary machine. I'm gonna keep a sharp eye on him, make sure that he's doing all right. Stay tuned for future videos. I post every Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. So if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe, smash a like on this video if you guys want me to go saltwater micro fishing. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys so much. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.